The Jimmy Z Show. The Jimmy Z Show. But the first thing I want to talk about, (laughs) much to the disappointment of many of you, I'm sure, is American Idol. The reason, of course, if you've heard the story, you'll know exactly what I'm going to talk about. It's the selection of Ellen DeGeneres as the new uh, American Idol judge. Now, all of these people who are judges have had something to do with the music business. Not Ellen. Ellen is a comedian and lately, for a number of years now, a very unfunny comedian with a widely known political social agenda. She is a far left winger. Now the nice thing about American Idol, for those of us who have watched it with any frequency at all, is that by and large, the judges avoid politics. Now we're talking about Randy and Paula, who's now no longer on the show, and Kara and Simon, who knows what their politics are? I, I think that says a lot for the show. Because if you were a viewer of American Idol, you could watch American Idol and avoid politics. With Ellen DeGeneres, you cannot do that. Ellen is very outspoken about her politics, and, and she's welcome to do that. She has the Ellen DeGeneres show, and she can speak out in whatever way she wants on politics. That's her right. But it's also our right to tune out. And, of course, that's the simple answer to this. Uh, Whereas I used to watch American Idol, not so much during the early weeks where they had all the uh, bozos singing poorly. But when the real contestants actually sing on the show and there is the competition, I I usually enjoy that. But I won't be watching anymore. I don't want to have anything to do with Ellen DeGeneres. It, It makes no sense to bring a judge who is polarizing onto a show that is, up to this point, apolitical. Not every show should have a political slant to it. And Ellen DeGeneres brings to American Idol a political slant. So I went to the, I'm a member, (laughs) sorry to say, uh, of the American Idol website, and I logged in and I went to the forums, And there is a thread there that has to do with American Idol selecting Ellen DeGeneres as the new fourth American Idol judge. And I started posting a couple of things. And most everyone there is no fan of Ellen DeGeneres being a judge. Uh, Whether or not they like Ellen in general is one thing. But the other thing about Ms. DeGeneres is that She does not have any musical background. She doesn't know music, except from a listener's standpoint. And at that point, you might as well have me, or George, or Steve, or Mark, or Jane, or Mary, or Stephanie. I mean, it doesn't matter at that point. You could have anybody get on there as what they are billing Ellen as a as a regular listener of music she is not a regular person in any form or fashion she is a super wealthy hollywood celebrity who is not at all she pretends to be in touch with regular folks but ellen degenerat has no concept of what regular folks are like of what living a life as a regular person is like She was a huge proponent of Barack Obama. She is an outspoken proponent of homosexual marriage. She and and her lesbian person (laughs) got married during the short few months that uh, California allowed homosexual marriage. And so she is a married person. So I go on this uh, forum, and most people are, are speaking out against this choice, basically from the standpoint that Ellen DeGeneres brings no musical knowledge to the show. But one person there said something about Ellen DeGeneres 
is a happily married woman, so she'll be good for the show. And then this person had a picture of Ellen and her lesbian, quote, wife embracing at their wedding as as their their little picture there, their avatar. And so I responded to that. And I said, look, you know, it, it, I can see here that your, your reason for appreciating Ellen being chosen as the, as the next judge on this TV program is because you agree with her political and social agenda. And I had a few posts like that that were covering I- exactly what I've been saying here. And I did so in a very civil and, and moderate tone because, and I mentioned nothing of homosexuality, I, I referred to it as social and political agenda, because I know what the American Idol Forum is like. Not only do they probably, the, the people who run the forum probably have this left-wing slant, but they also do not take kindly to people getting into politics from a conservative standpoint in any case, much less having to do with their new judge. So as the discussion was going on, all of a sudden I realize, I go back and I see that three or four of my posts have been just removed. They've disappeared. And so now we see what the agenda really is. And then the moderator wrote a note and said something to the effect of, just as a reminder, and it wasn't addressed to anybody in particular, but I knew it was written to me, the moderator wrote that uh, you have to uh, you have to obey the uh, terms of service that you agreed to when you signed on and if you do not you could lose your posting privileges and those posts that don't fit the terms of service will be removed well technically nothing i wrote was in conflict with the terms of service on this kind of forum where you might speak your mind Uh, it's totally up to the moderator to interpret whether or not what you're writing is in conflict with the terms of service. Get what I'm saying there? It's totally subjective. has nothing to do with whether or not it really is. So as a number of my posts continued to be removed, I wrote this, and I, I did a screen capture just in case anybody wants to click on it and see what it looked like. I was on there as the Jimmy Z Show. And this is what I wrote to the moderator, without addressing specifically the moderator. Let me say one thing, and I'll get out of your hair. When the idol masters, whoever they are, determine to hire as a judge a celebrity with a widely known social agenda, the idol forum should be big enough to handle the discussion of that person's agenda, in this case, Ellen's agenda. Ellen is not simply a comedian. She's been an outspoken political critic of the conservative Republican side of politics in this country and also an outspoken supporter of the far-left Democrat politics. It is disingenuous of you to avoid this matter and silence me, yet allow others to applaud her if they agree with her political agenda. You ought not have it both ways. That is the truth of the matter. And let's hope Ellen is a short-lived experiment. Oh, and one more thing. I have been enormously respectful and civil as I have posted my disagreement with Ms. DeGeneres. And I actually didn't write degenerate. (laughs) I didn't think that would go over too well. And so there it is. That is what's going on over at American Idol. And I know few of you really care about American Idol. But because of Ellen DeGenerate and her ongoing political agenda, which is whether you know it or not, an agenda to normalize homosexual behavior. That is what she's about. And so I think it is, uh, well, it's almost comical that the people who put together, the, the producers of American Idol, actually think that they can bring Ellen DeGenerate on the program and not suffer the loss of many viewers. I've been in discussion in these forums with many American Idol viewers. And there are a lot of conservatives who enjoy American Idol. There's a lot of liberals, too. But the thing was, this was about singing, the ability to sing a song well. And now, Ellen DeGeneres has brought 
uh, politics to American Idol, and I do not think it's going to serve the program well. We'll see if I'm right as the ratings come up for American Idol with uh, four judges, one of which is now a homosexual activist and left-wing political social agendist, Ellen DeGenerate. The Jimmy Z Show. 